Beatbox International. Beatbox International. Beatbox International. Hey, this is Justin Tan from Malaysia and today I'll be doing a tutorial on the Kalexi whistle, which is also known as the delay water drop. So this is what the whistle sounds like. Uh, you can change the pitch of the whistle and you can do it inwards as well. So this whistle comprises of two sounds. One is the hollow clock and the other is the whistle. So the hollow clock sounds like this. It's done by clopping your tongue on the base of your mouth while keeping your soft palate closed. To close your soft palate, you have to contract your soft palate upwards to cover the airway from your lungs to your nose. So this is what it looks like. You'll notice that my soft palate contracted upwards, so that's when my soft palate was closed. And when your soft palate is closed, it gives your whatever sounds that come out from your mouth the hollow sound, hollow effect. Like for example, if I do a hollow clock and a normal clock, you'll notice the difference because during the hollow clock, I'm closing my soft palate and when I'm doing the normal clock, I'm not closing my soft palate. So once you're able to do the hollow clock, you can move on to learning the whistle. To do the whistle, you have to get these three aspects right. One is getting your lip position right. Secondly, you must exhale the right amount of air out of your lungs. And you also must enlarge your throat wide enough so that the right amount of air can come out to get the whistle sound. So the lip position. So to get the right lip position, you must make an O shape with your lips that is bigger than a reg the O shape of a regular whistle, for example. You can see that the O shape made by made when I do the Kalexi whistle is much bigger than when I do a regular whistle. So the next aspect that you have to get correct is how wide you make your throat. When doing the Kalexi whistle, you must contract this part of your throat downwards to make your airway larger so that you can get the whistle sound. So try pulling your jaw downwards and contracting this downwards so that you can get the whistle. The next aspect that you need to master is the amount of air that you exhale. There are two ways to start off when learning the whistle to get the right air exhalation. So one is by sighing, like just going and the other one is doing a prolonged cough snare. So so always bear in mind that when practicing these three aspects, you always have to have your soft palate closed to get the hollow whistle effect sound thing. So combine the correct lip position, the correct size of your airway, and the correct amount of air that you exhale, you will get. <coughs> also, do not forget to always clop when you practice for the Kalexi whistle, because if you do not clop at the same time while uh, doing the whistle, you may end up being able to do the whistle, but being unable to clock. So you end up being able to do this without being able to do this. As I mentioned earlier on, as I demonstrated earlier on, you can do uh, the Kalexi whistle inwards. So to do it inwards, you basically have to curl your lips inwards, not over your teeth, but just curl your lips a little bit such that they look like this. So you just do that and reverse the process of the outward Kalexi whistle and you'll be able to get this. So it's useful to learn the inwards Kalexi whistle because on a microphone, any outwards sound that requires a lot of air tends to make the sound come out not so cleanly. So it's an advantage if you know how to do the sound inwards because it will sound much nicer when it comes out on a microphone. And you also will be able to replenish the air in your lungs if you ever run out of air while doing a beat. So after you've learned the whistle, how do you put the whistle in a beat? Well, my advice would be to start off simple, just a simple beat like And then once you master doing the whistle in simple beats, you progress to putting it in more complex beats that suit your own style and experiment with what you can do with the whistle. Like for example, Nepom adds a chest bass to the whistle. So it sounds like... <coughs> so there are lots of things you can do with the whistle. So uh, keep practicing, keep experimenting, and I guess so ends my tutorial for the Kalexi whistle.
don't forget to like, share and comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs>